Hello, I'm Dave Wilhelmson. I'm the artist today that's going to be giving you this lesson, um, a watercolor paint lesson. And today we're going to be doing one of my most popular things for art classes is uh, sunflowers. And we're just going to do a single sunflower sitting in a glass jar in a glass vase. And we're going to learn how to paint this in the watercolors. And step by step, we'll do fine. I'm just going to go through what we need here. Um, you have your pencil, paper towel, watercolor paper on a pad or on a tablet. I use 140 weight paper. It seems to work quite well now. Mine is upright, but you can do yours on a flat surface on a table. Probably would be better. This is just to show you for taping it. And um, what we have here too is uh, two brushes. These are like watercolor brushes. I have an 8 and a size 12 brush, a large brush. But for this painting, probably be using mostly the eight. Well, it's some is like a, a medium-sized brush. All right. What we do is we're going to put these in the cup of water. You have a cup of water, a glass of water. Okay. And just keep them there for now. And then I have my watercolors. I have a palette in the middle here, a little mixing palette, but you could have a, a plastic plate, a regular plate, not a paper plate. <laughs> Use it, anything that has a hard surface plate for mixing colors. Um, and if you have the palette, I have my primary colors here. You have our yellow, red, blue, and green. And we're gonna be mixing them together. We're gonna to be using certain colors, a lot of certain colors today. Um, if you have more paper towels, it might be better for you because you'll be able to fix some of these problems. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna sketch it out. Don't be afraid, I'll walk you through this. We're gonna to try to draw this beautiful sunflower in the vase. First of all, we're going to draw a, a, a mark on the very top in the middle and in the very bottom in the middle, roughly in the middle. Okay? You're going to draw a light line going from top to bottom there. Connect the top to the bottom line. All right? What we do is right on the left side we put a mark right in the middle on the left side and right on the right side, in the middle, on the right side. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to connect the line on the, the horizontal line. It goes from the left side to the right side. So I'm just going here. You can use a straight edge or whatever. I'm not getting crazy with it. We're not going to see it probably as much when once we're done with the painting. Okay, between, between the top and the middle, you're going to make a mark right in the middle here. And what you're going to do is you're going to take that and you're going to make that and cut that into it right between that. So when you're on that middle line, you get the middle right here, your middle line you put across, and your top, and you're going to put a mark there, the halfway mark between them. And then you're going to make another mark, that halfway mark, and that middle mark there, you're going to put another mark there. Okay. Right now I'm going to take my brushes out of the water. I'm going to use the paper towel, wipe them off so they're just damp, and I lay them next to my palette. Okay, we have them ready. Now we're going to get into start sketching. We're going to draw the vase. We're going to put a straight line this middle line here, not the middle here, the one below the middle dot. And we're going to draw like a two inch line straight across. Okay. And then down below here, right between the middle and the bottom, we're going to put right in the middle there a dot. Okay. So now what you're going to do with this middle line here, you're going to put a C here on the end and another C on the other end there. You see that? That up here is of the painting of the sunflowers is going to be the vase. And we have the lid, the lip of the vase. Now what we're going to do here is we go out one inch from the bottom. Okay. Up a little bit. We're going to do a like a smile, smiley face. See the smiley face there? Okay, so it should look like that. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line up to that middle, straight up there, and a line there. Okay? So you see we have our smile, we have a line on the left going up to the middle line here, that our horizontal line, and a line on the right. Now we're going to go in, connect this line here to the lip, to that C, and to the backward C. So you should start to see your glass vase. Okay? Now we're going to do another smile. It's coming down here on the top here. Got that? There we go. This is your glass vase. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase some of those lines in the middle. Okay? I want to get rid of that. All right. Now for the flower. You see this halfway mark, this dot here? That dot is going to be the bottom of a circle. The circle is only about maybe an inch in diameter. So it's at the bottom of that mark that goes between here and here. You're doing that. Okay? Now we're going to have some fun. <laughs> to do the petals of the sunflower, we have these here. We're going to do these like this. If you can point it like that, you see these ovals? We're going to do another oval. They're going to join together. Another oval. Do a whole bunch of ovals. How far out they got to be? They're going to be like an inch, just like the size of this, the size of your middle. Another oval with a point, an oval with a point, an oval with a point. If you got to erase something, you can erase, put points on them. We're going to get into that with the watercolor, don't worry. We, we're so like, we could make so many changes with the paint. And they're going out, and they're going around, and they're a whole bunch of ovals. And now, we have a whole bunch of ovals there, okay? They're petals. Now between the petals, there's these other ones that are connected, these little points. They're between them, okay? You don't have to do every one with a point. You can just skip some and there we go. I have a little lilac thing hanging out here. Just added some interest. We'll put that over there. Like a little thing with some circles. Ooh, look at that. Okay. Now we're going to do some leaves here. Again, these are like ovals. Okay. I'm just doing these haphazardly. Okay. Okay, there we have our green leaves. Okay. Now with this jar, this vase, we have the bottom here. We want to see it transparent so we can see the very bottom of the glass. We go from there, we made this smile, we're going to do a, an unhappy smile, a frown. Okay? So we have that there. You see that? You join the ends and you make a frown. If you have to erase, erase and bring it up. You don't want it flat. Okay? Now here we're going to see the water line in the glass. So we do another smile right at the horizontal line here and here. You're going to go dip down. And what you're doing, you're following the same smile at the bottom of the, the, bottom of the vase. And then you do the frown up here. Okay, so we got it. This is what it should look like. If you need to erase, you can take time to erase now and do any of the, if the lines don't look right. So remember on the bottom, the smile, the frown, the smile and the frown. These are ones on the horizon line of the middle of the painting. Okay, so once we're at this point, we're going to do these. In the vase, we have the stems hanging from the sunflower with the leaves. Okay, so we're just going to hold loose things here. They're like they're, they look like they're just straggling there. Okay, that's all we have to do for now. All right, so what we're doing is we got some leaves here we could fill in. 
Okay, there. So we should have the drawing almost ready, but we have like a little shadow. So we're gonna do a light line here, straggle to the edge. This is like a ta edge of a table, okay? So this is what it should look like, the sketch. All right, and then I'm gonna be getting into the first color. The first color is gonna be yellow for the sunflower. No surprise, right? That's what sunflowers are. They're like a golden yellow. Okay, I'm gonna use my medium brush here, the small brush of the two. We have only two brushes we're using here. And most of the time we're gonna use this brush now. So I'm gonna dip into my yellow. I'm putting it in the middle of my palette. Okay, I'm gonna mix some water with it. You gotta, the other thing is if you can just wet your colors, if you're using dry ones, I'm using them for watercolors from a tube, but still I have to add water to dilute them. You just have to wet your colors. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it sort of really bold the color. Now I'm gonna paint these inner ones, see these here, these petals? I'm painting the inner ones here. Okay, and I'm gonna go around and go around and go around. Keep dipping in my palette here, picking up new color. So I have the primary petals, the larger ones. Okay, we're gonna bother with them. Now, we have greens around here. We're gonna do the stems because they're away from these. We're gonna let the sunflower sort of dry. So what I'm gonna do is wash out my brush, pat it on my paper towel here. I like holding this little palette so you can see it. Now I'm gonna take some of my green, I have my regular, it's like an emerald green, medium green, mix it in with the yellow, okay? I'm gonna add some water to that. Okay, now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get these stems. I'm just gonna go like this. Ooh, there we go, get a little bit more there. And then, and this one here, and this one there. Okay, we have them. Now I'm gonna go around to do these leaves. I'm gonna add more yellow to it. I washed out my brush, adding yellow to this green. I want it to be like a lighter, lighter green I'm starting out with, which we have these. And every one of these green leaves I'm painting. Okay, these are the outer leaves that I painted, that I drew, and I just put them around here. And we're laying down colors. We'll go on top of these colors with, once they're dry, with deeper greens, okay? All right. All right, now, I'm gonna move away from that. We're gonna do this blue of the jar, okay? Now, what I have, I have a whole bunch of green in my palette. What I do is I take it, I pick it up, put it on my paper towel, pick it up, put it on my paper towel, I wipe it off, add water to it, I put it, and I blot it out of my paper towel. Or you could just put your paper towel and wipe it out, you know. So now I have a palette that is ready for my next color. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my medium blue, put it in my palette here. I'm going to add water to it. I don't want to dilute it. I don't want it so strong. I got to make it diluted. It's easy. Once you put colors on, we can add, we can add colors on top of colors. First, I'm going to do that lid up here. Do the whole lid. Okay. If it's running for you, you can just blot it with a paper towel. Okay. Now, the next thing is we're going to move our way down. You can see what I did here. I have to leave some white. I don't want to have it all blue. It gives it more definition and character. So I'm doing the edge, the outside edge of the jar. You see this? And I'll skip some areas. And the very bottom. I'm going to do the bottom. Look at that. It's pooling up. I'm taking my brush with the paper towel. I take my brush and blot it on the paper towel. And then I just pick up the color. Blotting. I'm using the brush to blot instead of putting my paper towel on it. And then I'm going to do the same thing up here. This one here, this top line of the water. There. And in here. And in here. 
And I'm going to blot it again. And I'm going to mix this a little bit, blend it. I take a brush and get water on it and then take all the color out of it. And then I can use this to blend. You see how I blend it? I wash out the brush, blot it on my paper towel. You got to keep that paper towel really close to you. It's great to have it in your hands. If it's on the table, put it right, right next to your palette. All right. I'll fill in a little bit more colors here, as I see here. Between the stems there, and a little more color here, and there. And right now, we're going to leave this alone. We're going to leave that as it is. And we're going to do some blue to that shadow back here. Fill that in. Okay. There we go. All right. Now, we're going to go up to this and put our, right here in the middle, the pod of the sunflower. I have a color that, oops, I forgot something. Look at that. I'm going to get the blue out. So how do I do that? I blot it. I take it. Blot it on my paper towel, my brush. I pick it up my brush, take it out my paper towel. Then I take, wash it out, put some more water, clean water on there. Then I blot it. I just take it out and I do that. i wipe it on my thing. So now I have a color of a gold color. This gold color is yellow and a brown. You can mix, but I have the gold color. I'm wetting it down, getting it ready and wet. Okay, so the gold color goes in the middle here. Okay, I call it the pod. This is the middle of the, between all of the petals. It's the pod. Okay, now, looks like it's getting too runny because this is upright. I blot out my brush. I got that. Now, that same gold color, I'm going to use for these petals that are in the background. Okay, that are between the big ones in the front. I'm getting them. All right. And I'm having some fun with this now. It's going to come together really nice. Now, also, some of that gold is going to go into from the pod right around here. I'm going to do a I'm going to highlight one side of each petal with that gold. See that? It's almost like a little shadow cast on each petal. All right, so you see I have it up here on my finished painting. And then I'm going to just blot that a little bit. Now, we're going to go back to our green leaves again. So I'm going to get some of that green in here. I'm going to go back to green. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix green with the gold. Or for you that didn't get the gold, you got to get yellow and brown. More yellow than brown, okay? And I mix my gold with the green. I'm going to have a, like a milky green. Okay. So now what I do is I'm going to put one side of the leaf. I'm going to do that, one side of the leaf. You see that? I did one side of the petal, I'm doing one side of the leaf. The ones on the bottom, I'm doing, going to fill them all in with the dark green. Look at this, I'm going to fill the whole thing on the top of the lid of the vase is going to be dark green. You see what I did in here? I'm going to make it really dark later on, but to start now, okay, I'm going to make this leaf hang over here, and then we're going to up here, here, make it more of that color. If you follow Put one side of the leaves. You see that now? It should start to look like that. 
Now we're going to go through the, these things here, these stems. We're going to use that same dark green and give definition to them. Okay, so we're going to go up on the top. I'm going to put them all and get dark up here. Okay, and I'm just going to go all the way down a little bit halfway. Just go halfway with the stems with the dark green. Okay, so it should start to look like that. Now we're going to go back to the middle, that pod in the middle. Now we got is the gold. Now we're going to take gold and add it into that green. And we're going to believe it, we're going to add red. So we're going to get the red, because when you get the red with that green, that deep color. I'm going to go right into the middle here. Make a small circle in the middle. I want to make it really dark though. So I got to get, I don't want to mix green into the red. I got to wash it out. I took my green and put it in my palette. Then I washed it and put it in the red. Now, okay, now I got that. That's going to go in the middle here. And then, on the edges here, I'm going to put that. See these dots here? These are the very ends of the petal, just on one side of the petal. Okay, and then down below here, I'm going to do between the leaves. Some dark spots between the leaves. And some of these petal, these stems, at the very top. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I've got to wash out my brush, blot it on the paper towel, and I want to come back and wash some of that, blend it into the leaf, where I just put those marks against the petal. You see that? So it blends. And what I'm going to do is wash my brush again. I'm going to get to that middle part there, blot it, clean water and blot it, and then go around that whole circle. Okay, and make that go into the, that color there. Okay, so it should sort of look like that. Now I'm going to go back to the blue of the jar. And I'm going to add blue to that color, that mixture I just made. I have like this dark blue, but I got to add water to that and dilute it. Okay, so now I'm going to put my brush on the paper towel. I'm going to see what I got here. The lid gets a little bit of it. Oh, I don't have enough of it. Okay, and then there, I got these dabs of dark color. I'm going to put it up here. Okay, up on the top there. A little dab over here. This gives it some real definition along this upper lid of this smile, as I said before. And then a little bit in here on the frown part, the top of the water. Okay. And then what I want to do is the very bottom, too. I want to do this. I want to break it a little bit here and put a dash there. So what you're getting is a little bit of... I'm going to wash on my brush. Now I'm going to blot it. And I'm going to start just blending a little bit here. Okay. So it looks a little bit softer. So it should start to look like that, okay? And then the shadow, I'm taking the whole bunch and putting that into the shadow. I don't want to forget that. That's what makes it really come out, makes it like a, a little three-dimensional. So go like this, and it goes to the edge there. A nice shadow. Okay, so now we're going to concentrate on the petals again. Here we go. Now these petals will have a more golden touch on there, and that's what we're going to focus on. Now I'm going to wipe out my palette again. Here we go. Blot it. Blot it with the paper towel. I'm going to turn this paper towel over. Got a now fresh side of that. You can have a couple of paper towels or white napkins that you use, and we'll go through them with watercolor, it really comes in handy. Okay, so now I'm gonna be using yellow and gold. I'm gonna make it some really strong, I wanna get into some strong color here. Now yellow is very weak, I don't have to really wash it too much. I go right to my gold, which is 
and I mix those two together. Now I got real strong. There's not much water here. There's mainly color. It's just wet color. So now we're doing half of the petal, the bottom one that touches the center pod here. I'm gonna fill in all that. I'm gonna go make it look like that. Okay. And then, because there's so much definition in these petals of a sunflower, you fill in any white spots, any white gaps there, okay? Go around the whole circle there. And then, some of the edges on the ends here, the tips on the right side petals, because the light is coming this way. The light's shining this way, you can tell by the shadow here. So these petals on this side have it on their edges, the golden edges like a little bending of those petals. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash out my brush and we're, we're get into that little bit of blending. Wash out the brush, dab it on the paper towel so it's nice and damp, and then I get into this. I mix it a little bit there, okay. Now wash it, get some of that paint off. I'm gonna mix it, blend it, okay. You don't have to work too quick on this paper. The watercolors, you can wash them away. They're so good with blending. Okay, so it should start to look like that. Now we're gonna get back to those leaves. We're gonna get a darker. I'm gonna leave my golden yellow here because the green going on top of it is gonna be very strong. And I gotta get into a, a green. And then I don't even have to wash the brush out. I'm going right into a blue because blue is a very strong color. Okay, so I have like a blue, but it doesn't stop with that. I'm going to get this color going. I'm going to put this on the leaves and we're going to add another color on top of that. Uh, we're going to go onto the inside of the leaves here. And we're going to go along the edges of the where you had that dark color. You're just going to put a line on that and go close to the petals with this color. Okay. Now each leaf has like a, a center line to it that comes out of it, and you wanna make that too. So what I'm doing here is that I'm putting colors in here, and then And now, what I'm gonna do is this color here, I'm gonna add a little red to. Wash out my brush. I'm gonna put some red in there. Wow, look at that. That's gonna turn into a really deep, deep color. And I need that, I'm gonna add some green. Okay, and that's what I'm gonna do in here. I'm gonna do a dark, dark color, dark, dark. And then we have to get into the petals here where the petals meet the leaves. Okay. Around here, doing right between the petals and the leaves, this really dark color. Okay. should start to look like that. Now I'm gonna go leave this color here and I'm putting more red in there. And I'm gonna wash out my brush now. I'm gonna put some of that gold. Okay, and I'm gonna put some blue. So what we're getting here is gonna be real into and some red. Now, and let's see. I have brown, dark brown, and it is some of that. Now I'm going to get into the center of this sunflower pot again. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go like this. We're going to go out and we're going to start putting these little things in the middle dashes going out from it, okay? And then I got to put some dashes around the edges here, okay? And on one side, okay, so then all right, and then underneath here again, I want to get into this and darken these things here. Okay, so now, um, I'm gonna wash the brush out, blot it on the paper towel. Now we got to do some blending in here. I'm gonna do the blending. I'm gonna go back and forth between 
the dark center. Be careful you don't take too much paint on. You can wash off your brush and then take up some of the paint again, blot it on your paper towel. All right, and it should start to look like this. Now the edges are Okay, I'm going to put some of that color in here. And bring it to some of the petals going out. Okay. And mixing, washing, and blotting the brush. And use just your damp brush to blend some of that there. Okay. Now this might take you a couple tries, but the blending it depends on handling the brush. The more you use a brush like this with watercolors, the more you'll get used to doing these techniques. Um, I'm going to bring some gold in there. Okay, and now I'm going to wash out this. Oh, we forgot about our little berries there. The little, I'm not berries, the little are these little flat purple flowers. I have some purple over here, or violet if you have. And I'm going to dot them. And I'm going to use that same dark brown I did for the middle there as the stem. That's going along. Okay. Now what I want to do is, I'm going to wash out this color here. I'm just going to finish off that vase a little bit. I'm blotting out, the, picking up all that paint in the middle there. And wiping it on my paper towel. So now I have a a good palette, clean palette to do this. Now I got one last thing here I'm going to be doing um, for the vase is more blue, like some blue, but just a little bit of red. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I got to add water to it, make it a little watery, and along this edge again. See that? You need that definition and this here. here and at the bottom. Okay, we got that. Now I'm going to blend it. I washed out my brush, blend it a little bit. Okay. Now I'm just going to do one more spot. I have my large brush. The one job, my large brush. First I'm going to clean out this palette. And now we're going to add red to this tabletop. A little bit of red, like a faint red. So what I'm doing here is I go below the line, go around the, the vase. See that? Go that way, add a diagonal, makes it easy instead of going up and down. Okay, and then do here, do a little bit in there, get that. If it runs, you can use your paper towel. Okay. So this is nice, just in uh, a suggestion of a tabletop here. We don't want this to take away from our, the beauty of our sunflower. And I'll add a little bit more of this color. And put some dashes of color in there. And... Okay. I think I just want to do one more thing to those leaves. Those leaves, I'm going to use my brush again. I got the paint in here, there's not much left of it. I'm going to add a little more green. And gold. 
green and gold and there's not much water in there but I want to give a little more definition to these leaves here They're sort of hanging out by putting that color on the left side of each one of them all right all right doing good here all right and a little bit more definition on these petals i'm adding red to that greenish mixture red and green i'm going to highlight these petals a little more because you can see what i did on the original okay these make these uh, petals pop a little more i'm just doing one side of the petals okay and you see now all right Feathering around there. all right and i think we are set here we are just what we're doing and if you have, just remember, if you have things you want to correct, I'm just going to go in on an area, and you want to take it up and wash it. You just have to wet your brush, wash it down, blot it, pick it up, blot it, pick it up, and you can get that color right off of there, okay? Or you can use the paper towel that's clean, and you can take it and blot it. And I'll take it off. You just wet the color down, wash it with the brush, wet it down, and then blot it with the paper towel or with a dry brush you can pick up your color okay so i think we're set and i hope you enjoyed your sunflower watercoloring lesson today thank you